Hey there, Algebra 2. Today we're talking about exponential equations. Um, how do you know something's an exponential equation? Well, our variable here is the exponent, not the base. Our base is a constant, but our, exp uh, our exponent is a variable. Again, that's how we know it's an exponential equation. Well, again, this is our base. So our base is 2. This is our exponent. But this is also another fancy, another fancy name for that, is the uh, logarithm. Oop, I can't spell. Logarithm. Now, there is a, a, a rule in logarithms. Okay, if we want to get rid of this x, like if we wanted to get that x by itself, we can rewrite this as log y. So we're putting log in front of both. So instead of writing out the word logarithm, we put log. Log of 2 to the x. Now we can move this out front. That's a rule that we are going to get to later as well. So it becomes log y is equal to x log 2. And again, this is just going through the proof so that you don't have to do the proof each and every time. So we have log 2. Um, now the rules with logs is that you have one log divided by another log. Um, 2 becomes our base. So what we can write is log with a base of 2 of y is equal to the x is equal to x so there's two ways of writing our 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 identities here our equations we have y is equal to 2 to the x but we could change this to become log 2 of y is equal to x again in which x is our logarithm so now let's apply that to uh, to a couple problems so it starts to make sense. Okay, so here's our identity. Log b y is equal to x. Um, b to the x is equal to y. That's another way of writing it. It says find each logarithm. So if I say this is equal to x, we want to find each logarithm. We need to figure out what x is equal to. Well, we can rewrite this information to be set up in this format. So again, 5 is in the position of B. So we, we want to rewrite it like this. So we have 5. It says B to the X. So 5 to the X is equal to Y. So 625 is in the position of Y. Again, our base raised to this exponent is equal to that. So now we have to figure out what is X. So in a problem like this, we want to figure out how can we rewrite 625 um, in terms of 5 as our base. So if you think about it, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, times 5 is 625. So I can rewrite this. 5 to the x is equal to 5 to the 4th. Again, 625 is 5 to the 4th. So now we can just get rid of our, um, whenever you have the same exact base, we can just eliminate those. So we have x is equal to 4. Okay. So x is equal to the 4. Two, why did I say 2 to the 4? x is equal to 4. So this would be our logarithm. Okay. Now we have the same, let's do this here. It's, it's the same, uh, same directions. So again, the format. What's in the position of b? 3 is in the position of b raised to the x, so here, is equal to whatever y is. In this case, 1 ninth is in the position of y. Well, it's saying we, re we need to rewrite 9 with as a base of 3. Well, if you think about 9, you can rewrite that as 1 over 3 squared. Again, 9 is 3 squared, but we need 3 in the numerator, not in the denominator. So what you can do, we've done this... Uh, a few chapters ago, when you have something in the denominator with an exponent, we just move it to the top by making that exponent a negative. And now that we have 3 as both of our bases, we can cross those out. So our final answer is x is equal to negative 2. Okay? So again, find that logarithm. All right, the next problem. Here we have log okay we're gonna solve again find the logarithm it's actually the same set of problems I don't know why I did a line there okay now when you ever have a root we we did this as well there's a little invisible one on the inside we can rewrite instead of saying third root we can write rewrite that as an exponent a fraction exponent 
So we could say to the one third. Okay? Instead of saying third root, we could say six to the one third. Inside exponent, and here in this case it's a one becomes a numerator. Outside root or index becomes a denominator. So now we have okay, six. I'm gonna write it again right here. Log b y is equal to x, and we rewrite it as b to the y, or sorry, b to the x is equal to y. So now we say 6 is in the position of b, so we raise it to the x exponent, is equal to 6 to the 1 third. Therefore, these just cancel out. We have x is equal to 1 third. So now you know if you ever you have the same base, if you have the small base here, and then the larger base here, these actually just cancel out. The log 6 and the 6 cancel out. You're left with 1 third is equal to x. And so now we're going to do that here. This one's a little bit more tricky. So we have log 10. Here we have 1,000 to the 1 fourth. Okay, again, fourth root we rewrite as 1 fourth is equal to x, but we don't want 1,000 as our base. We need our base to be 10. So the question is, how do you rewrite 1,000 as a base of 10? Well, uh, 10 to the third power is 1,000. Okay, 10 to the third power, that same thing as saying 1,000. Now, whenever you have an exponent on the outside of an exponent, you multiply those. So we're left with log 10 of 10 to the 3 fourths, because 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths, is equal to x. And like I said, here, whenever you have the small base, okay, as same as the larger base, we can just cross those out and eliminate those. So we're left with x is equal to 3 fourths. Okay? So that's how we solve these if we're trying to find the logarithm. Now the next problem, uh, set of problems, is we're still going to have the same format, um, log lo uh, base b of y is equal to x, and it says we can rewrite it as b to the x is equal to y. Now it might switch us up. Uh, now for these problems, these equations, it, we might have to be solving for b, we might have to be solving for x, we might have to be solving for y, okay? So we're setting it up the same exact way. Don't change a formula. That's the whole point of a formula is that you can always depend that it's going to be the same each time. So again, what's in the position of b? That becomes our big base. Oh, this, we already have a b. And it says b to the x, and the x we find right here, so 2, b squared is equal to y, whatever's in this position, so 25. So what we have to figure out is what squared is 25. So we know that 5 squared is 25. Okay, 5 squared is 25. And again, just like how we did here, when we had the same um, bases, we can cross out the bases. So we get x equals 4. Same thing with exponents. Now that we have the same exact exponent, we can cross those out. We know that b is equal to 5. And if you ever have any questions about how does that work, just think about it. In order to get rid of a square, we root and root. And a square and a root cancel each other out. We're left with b is equal to 5. Now this problem, again, we're solving for x just like our last few ones. So we have 2, our little base. We write in this position. 2 the x is equal to 128. And again, we just have to figure out how do you write 128 with a base of 2? Again, we need all the bases to be the same. Well, there's 2, 4, um, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 to the 7th power is 128. And now that we have the same exact base, we can cross those out. So we're left with x is equal to 7. And we just solve for x. There you go. And now we only have two more problems and we're done with the lesson. And again, I'm going to write it here. Log b y is equal to x. And we rewrite it. b to the x is equal to y. So here we actually have to solve for y. But again, don't change how you set up the problem. 3 is our base. That's what goes here. Raised to the x. So in this case, the 4 is in the position of x. And that's equal to y. Well, this problem is a lot easier because all you have to figure out what is... 3 to the 4th power. So we have 3, 9, 
27, 81. So 81 is equal to y. So that would be our final answer. Okay? All right. And for our last problem, again, we're solving for b now. So b to the negative 4 is equal to 1 over 16. Well, this one's a little tougher because we have to figure out what the base is. Well, how can you rewrite 16 in which 4 is the exponent? What to the 4th power is equal to 16? Well, we do know that 2 to the 4th power is 16. But in order to solve for b, um, we need that 2 in the numerator. So again, just like we did with the other problem, what we can do is move the 2 to the 4th to the numerator by making the exponent a negative. And now that we have both the same exact exponents, we can cross those out. So our final answer is just b is equal to 2. Okay? b is equal to 2. So 2 to the negative 4th, and if you think about it, if you want to check your work, 2 to the negative 4th, you can rewrite as 1 over 2 to the 4th, which is 1 over 16. And that's what we wanted. Okay? So this is how we deal with logarithms. Again, logarithms is this, this exponent here. Oops, when you rewrite, it's this exponent right here. Okay? And, um, yes, so good luck with that. Again, this is a formula. This is an identity. Therefore, you don't switch it. You're never going to get b to the y is equal to x. You're never going to get this. When you rewrite it without a log, you're never going to put b to the y is equal to x. Is b to the x is equal to y. Here, b goes as your base. Here goes the y in this spot. When you have the log there, equal to x. Okay. If you memorize to convert from this to that and vice versa, then you should be just fine. So, good luck with base b logarithms.